Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be talking about the Sources of Heroes review. So I know people are going to be like, it's only been a week, Tony. Like, why are you making a review? Uh, for the sole reason that I'm already done with it. Um, I've gotten all the armor sets for each class. I've gotten the glows. I've made all the reviews for the armors already. I made the guide already. I'm pretty much done. Like, for me, I'm done. I know people are going to be like, oh, we still have two more weeks. That's cool and dandy. It's not going to change in two weeks. I can guarantee you that. So, let's talk about a few things I liked about this and a few things I didn't like about this, which is actually more than, yeah, let's, well, let's, we'll see. So, first and foremost, I, lo I loved, I loved the armor grind. Uh, I think this year's was by far the easiest, and I definitely want Destiny to go in this direction more because if you guys remember the first year the second year the grinds for those were fucking atrocious and when i mean atrocious i literally mean uh i'll get like all right so this year we had to complete the blue armor then purple armor and then purple armor again right for those years previous you had to complete green armor first then the blue armor then the purple armor and then the purple armor again so that was rough <laughs> obviously because you had to complete four armor sets for different classes and the unfortunate thing was you could you could not complete like this year it gave you like a multiplier so if you were complete with the blue armor then you would get a multiplier if you completed the blue armor with a second character you got the you got the three times multiplier we didn't have anything like that for year one and year two we basically just had bite the bullet and you know you'll get this cool armor set which is why a lot of people from year one and year two had a big issue with the fact that we couldn't transmog that armor because that armor was really fucking hard to get specifically if you did it for all classes so for the people who never got that armor and are wondering like why are people like fighting for the armor so hard it's because it was really hard compared to this year's this year's was a cakewalk like so much so that i completed my hunter one in like within a day and then my my titan and warlock i completed that the same day i completed my hunter not like oh like i can i went from blue and then done i mean the moment i completed my my hunter armor is the moment I went to my Titan and my Warlock and I completed that all in one night. Obviously, I did an all-nighter, but the fact that I could complete all of that within one night, I was just like, wow, this is this was, oh my god, yes, I want more of this. Because at the end of the day, uh, the armor grind shouldn't be that hard. Like, it, we only have three weeks. I shouldn't have all three weeks to dedicate for one character each, which is what we did last, uh, those first years. Because, again, that grind was atrocious. I think the grind for this year was really fun. It it was fun enough where it didn't, like, feel like a huge grind. But long enough to feel like a grind, if that makes any sense. Like, I think the, the length was really good. Um, the new weapon is, uh... It exists. It, it's a thing. I don't particularly have any love for it. Um... I guess it's because it's the frame that it's using. I've never been a big fan of that frame, but even then, like I, I could have thought of other weapons that could have that could have came in. I don't know. Not only that, the rolls don't really interest me. Not, but to be fair, I haven't seen them all. I've seen a few of them. I this this weapon just does not interest me in the slightest. Uh, obviously, if you guys like it and you guys have good rolls, let me know in the comments below. But I just don't really care for it, to be quite honest. Uh. The weapon's like the least of my concerns. Like I, I think I, I've gotten them all three on each class, and I've destroyed them all because I'm like I don't, I don't care about this one weapon. If I find a good roll, I'll definitely review it and then like give my honest opinion about it. But for the meantime, I just don't really care for it. Um, the things I do think that in like Souls of Heroes needs, I think I definitely think it needs to like change or evolve next time because it's ridiculous the fact that like they expect us to go to the eaz every year bro this is the fourth year and i'm just like i don't want to run eaz anymore like i really don't either that or change the eaz or you know it'd be cool add new locations from different areas like we shouldn't only have an aerial 
Oh, it is aerial uh, Europeans, or I think it's called. Have a aerial Nessus or aerial this or that. Like, uh, give us new areas, bro. It's really not that hard. Like, just do it. It's so annoying having to go to the EAZ all over again. I'm just like, oh my god, dude, I've been here four years in a fucking row, bro. Like, to be fair though, Destiny 2 events are not good. Even this event, like. It, as, as much as I love the armor grind, it's the armor grind. We've done this already a couple of times. Like, the only thing that I'm surprised is that they're still making new armor sets. But, I mean, at that point, like, why would you even buy an old armor set? Like, so, I don't know. I just, I don't really care, to be honest. Like, this art, this, this grind was fun. But after that, I, I knew I was going to not play it anymore. Because what's the point? The weapons, I don't care about the weapon. The... These solstice packages or whatever they're called are actual dog shit. Like, unless you're trying to get for, like an actual god roll of the armor or a god roll of the weapon, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Like, it really does not. You're not gonna get anything crazy from it. Uh, you might get a good roll from for your armor, but goddamn, that RNG is like fucking ridiculous. I hate it. I absolutely hate it, and I think it's not worth it at all. Which is like why I don't care this much because again i can open like 50 of them and find like maybe two or three shotguns but like again i have no love for that shotgun so for me it's completely useless uh i don't know <clears throat> it def like sources of heroes and pretty much every event needs to evolve at this point because what is the next one's what halloween the halloween one is like not that good either oh my god halloween's probably the worst one because we have the the haunted forest which i think is like a cool idea but they just implemented really bad uh because all it is is people just you know going through the same area or over and dope bro i don't know uh sources of heroes i definitely think it's been one of the better sources of heroes we've ever had because the grind wasn't so fucking horrid um that being said, I still think this event's not that good because it's still not fun. Like, don't get me wrong, it was cool doing different things, especially for the fact that they didn't add any Trials of Osiris objectives. Thank God for that. But at the end of the day, if you, if you didn't like Souls of Heroes because of the armor grind, then this this is no different. This 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 event is no different for you, and that's the biggest like point i have it's like aside from grinding armor there's really nothing here um because again that shotgun uh, not a lot of people are gonna get like super excited about that and why why should they it doesn't roll with anything too crazy like i've gotten a few of them i've gotten one with trench barrel uh quick draw trench barrel dual loader trench barrel let it from let it from, from let it from gold and adrenaline adrenaline junkie uh field prep and adrenaline junkie like i've gotten a few and i'm just like <clears throat> whatever honestly um it's probably the fact that it's a precision frame um but i just don't care about this gun at all but yeah i know i'm being a little hard on it but at the same time it's just it's destiny this is what this is what we do we play we play we play events that are not that good Cause like <clears throat> it's it's hard not to look at other MMOs and look at yours and be like, why the fuck are you the way you are? Like why why are you like this? So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm, I apologize if this is a little negative, but it has to be said that this event, if you don't care about the armor grind, which a lot of people don't, then this is nothing different. This is completely the same with just the the added bonus that you know armor this season is not that annoying to get it was actually pretty fun and uh really fast but again if you don't care about that then this season this expansions are this, damn i cannot believe i just went to those two uh this event's not that great <clears throat> like it really is not so be safe guys you know what's happening there old don't forget to subscribe to my channel like if you liked it comment if you want to comment uh don't forget to check my twitch out at twitch.tv slash fix tony i'd love to see you there and other than that we'll see you guys later